There's no denying the rise of artificial intelligence in our world, but how about having a robotic arm in an operating room? One local robotics company is hoping a recent partnership will make that happen. Matt Grillo explains. Before I start the program, it always goes to the home position. Bijan Shariari is demonstrating all the abilities of this robotic arm. Its name is Jacko and can do just about anything a real arm can do, and even more. As an honors electrical engineering student at McGill, Shariari's been working with the robot for two weeks and can't get enough. It's really fun to use. Like it's, it's, like, it's like every kid's dream, you know, like controlling a robot arm. The product is the brainchild of robotics company Canova. It's partnered with McGill's Steinberg Center and Center for Intelligent Machines with one goal in mind, to bring this machine to operating rooms. Really it's an assistant to the surgeon or an assistant to uh, an operating room nurse, if you will. Uh, but it's one that doesn't take breaks, it doesn't have to, you know, uh, go for coffee. The product is already available for purchase for those with physical disabilities. And it's not cheap, with prices ranging between twenty and forty thousand dollars. If an individual has any upper extremity li type limitations, uh, for them to be empowered to ultimately do things that maybe you and I take for granted, like take a sip of water. Before getting it into hospitals, a lot of work will be needed. Shariari says he wants to fine tune the fingers, too large to pick up some items. I'm probably going to start by building a working prototype, and I'm going to test that prototype on the arm by controlling it, by programming it to see if it can do what I want it to do, such as pick up a scalpel, for example. The robot isn't meant to eliminate humans from surgery, but rather allow them to focus on other things. And Jacko can be programmed to repeat movements over and over again with great precision, raising the hope of eliminating human error. Is it something we're going to achieve? I don't know, but if you don't, if you don't try to aim for zero error, you're never going to reach it. For Jacko, it's set to be a busy summer of tweaks and changes in the hopes of offering better medical care. Macrillo, CTV News.